everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you a three card oracle card reading. Now, I was doing those pretty consistently in the last half of last year, but then of course the holidays came along and we also closed on our house and began renovations. So there's a lot that's been going on on my end, but it's 2019 and I wanna get back into these readings because I really do think they provide us an opportunity to explore our intuitive abilities. And also it gives spirit an opportunity to give us answers to questions that we presently have and sometimes answers to questions that we didn't know that we had. A lot of times spirit will give us a message that doesn't apply until a week from now or a month from now or even six months from now. Which brings me to my next point. Please know that God, spirit, is non-local. And what that means is spirit is not contained or constrained by or to dimensional reality. Spirit is not constrained by time. And so whenever you're watching this, whether in 2019 or 2050, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you're present and that you're open and that you're willing to receive a message from spirit. And if you are all of those things, well, hot damn, you're about to receive a message. Now, here's how it's gonna work. I am going to hold up three different cards. As I hold these cards up, what you're gonna do in order to partner with this process is you're going to be examining your intuitive faculties, your intuitive system. You're gonna be looking for some kind of correlating or reverberating response within your awareness that tells you, aha, that card is for me. Now, this is gonna vary person to person. Somebody might feel something like an electric sensation within their body, whereas someone else might hear a tone or a frequency when they see a specific card. Still others might see a vision flash before their mind's eye of the number one, two, or three, while yet others might actually just all of a sudden know, aha, it's card one, before they even see card one. They just know that that's the card for them. Those are the faculties, that's clairvoyance, clairsentience, claircognizance, and clairaudience. And spirit uses all of these faculties in order to get a message to us. One of the great reasons to do exercises like this is that it familiarizes us with how spirit likes to talk to us. So if you recognize a tone coming through or an energy moving in your body, this is likely the same way that spirit will talk to you in the future when you're out in your ordinary life at the Starbucks, in your cubicle, all of a sudden you'll hear a tone. And when you do, you'll remember, aha, that's how spirit spoke to me when I was in that Oracle card reading. And so I should stop and I should look around and I should pay attention because spirit might be speaking to me again. You get it? So not only are you receiving a message, but you're also teaching yourself how spirit talks to you. Last but not least, before the cards, just know that before I got on video, I, along with spirit, selected three cards that we felt were a match for the spiritual community. So these were selected and inspired energetically and will apply to those, again, who are open to receive a message. You ready? Let's begin. I'm gonna start by holding up each card one by one. Of course, you're gonna be seeing the back of the card. You're not gonna be seeing the front with the message. Let's see which card resonates with you the most. Card number one. Card number one. How's that card feel for you? Card number one. Moving on. Card number two. Card number two. Again, examining the awareness to see if you're feeling any kind of reverberating response. A correlating energetic response. Card number two. All right, moving on. Card number three. Bam, card number three. What 
kind of energy do you feel with card number three? Card number three. Very quickly, showing them to you again. Card number one. Card number two. And card number three. What I'd like you to do now is an actual step of faith on your part. It's, it's really a demonstration that you are trusting this process. Drop down into the comments, no matter when you're watching this, and just write down the number that you selected, the number of the card that resonates with you. You don't know the message yet. You don't know what it's going to be telling you, but you're going to trust that whatever was given at this time contains a message for you before the reveal. So just go ahead and drop down and, and type that out because it really is a declaration on your part that you are participating in this process, that you want to grow your intuition and that you want to receive the message that is best suited for you at this time. Okay, write it down in the comments and now let's do the reveal. Card number one, courage. Courage, a very cool card. Joan of Arc once said, I am not afraid. I was born to do this. This is your new mantra. You have all that you need and more to proceed. Live your dreams. Step forward with confidence and with surety. Meditate on this symbol and mantra whenever you need a boost of encouragement. This is a lightning bolt and it's inspired by Shazam. Shazam! You have the courage that you need to take the next step in your life. Whatever that is, you have the bravery, you have the metal, you have the stuff. Now is the time to trust that within yourself and take the step before you. Courage. Card number one. Yes. Yes. Moving on to card number two. For those of you who selected card number two, this card is growth. Kind of hard to see. Growth. This is a time of evolution. You are leaving behind outmoded, outdated, and antiquated relationships, beliefs, situations, or environments. Meditate on this symbol, which is the spiral, when you need assistance and in accepting the turnings and the changes of life as it evolves. The spiral is one of the oldest designs to appear throughout the ages and across the board in many spiritual practices. This is a symbol of growth and evolution. The spiral is a sacred symbol that reminds us of our evolution and the path of life. So when I see this card in a reading, it usually means we are stretching at this time. We are being prepared for an up-leveling, for development, for an expansion of consciousness and understanding. This requires that we shift in order to accommodate the growth that is entering our life. And to shift, we want to make sure the life is arranged around the energy, the new energy that is coming into the experience, which means, again, these outmoded, outdated beliefs and people and systems and thoughts and patterns, they really need to be shed, sloughed off, and light needs to be brought into the space where they once dwelled. This facilitates growth. So you're either entering into a time of growth or you are now in growth that will continue to evolve you and take you down your path. Snaps for growth. Growth isn't always easy, but it's always good. All right. And finally, we come to card number three. How many of you out there chose card number three? Spirit is giving you a message of wealth. <laughs> Who doesn't like a message of wealth? I love a message of wealth. You, my friend, are rich on all accounts. Abundance love and energetic riches surround you right now. Meditate on this symbol to draw more financial prosperity, more abundance, and all that you need on the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual planes. This is the Norse symbol for wealth. So you can actually take a mind picture of this. In other words, look at it 
and commit it to memory and then take that symbol into a meditation where you can consciously activate it. Now, about a week or two ago, I put up a technique for manifestation called consciousness activation. You can go and watch that to see what it is, but you can use this symbol, consciously activate it, unpack it, and then unleash the power of this wealth energy into your life. When I see this card in a reading, it usually means you're entering into or are about to enter into a period of prosperity. Uh, a period of feeling the richness of life. Is this always money? Not necessarily. Is it often money? Yes, <laughs> it is often money. So this is a good card. All these cards are actually very, very good. Again, the first card was courage. Be encouraged, be of good cheer. Second, growth. You're changing, you're transcending, you are expanding, you're evolving. Last but not least, wealth, prosperity, riches, peace and contentment for you. Very, very good messages from spirit. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. Let's grow this channel. I just want you to know that I love you very much. I will be back again to do more readings for you. And don't forget, whenever you watch this, whenever you receive this reading is when it applies to you. And on that note, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.